The Old Man and the Fix Hello, this is Natasha, and Bertie's asked me to tell you a wise and witty story. It's an ancient Jewish tale, and it shows some great virtues, like patience and trust in providence, as well as some bad ones, like envy and opportunism. It's quite short, but it packs in a good deal of sharp observation about human life. But before the story, I'd just like to thank our sponsor, the Centre for Guided Montessori Studies. For more information about Montessori schools, teaching and education, please visit www.guidedstudies.com. Now, on with the story. In Roman times... The Emperor Hadrian was riding with his army through Galilee. As he passed down a lane, he noticed a very old man planting a fig tree in his garden. The Emperor ordered a soldier to bring the ancient gardener before him. He then spoke to him as follows. Old man, why are you planting that tree? The time to plant it was in your youth to bear your fruit for old age. It's too late now. At this stage of life, you can't hope to live to taste the fruit from it. The old man bowed before the emperor as best as his back would let him and answered, In my youth I worked, and I still work. With God's good pleasure I may yet Try the fruit of this tree I plant. I am in his hands. Tell me your age, said the emperor. I have lived for a hundred years. A hundred years old and still expect to eat from the fruit of this tree? If such be God's pleasure, replied the old man. If not, I will leave it for my son, as my father left the fruit of his labour for me. Well, said the emperor, if you live until the figs from this tree are ripe, I pray you, let me know of it. Ten years went by. The tree bore fruit, and the old man enjoyed its figs for his breakfast. As it so happened, the emperor was again visiting Galilee. The old man resolved to visit him. He took a small basket, filled it with the choicest figs from the tree, and made his way to the palace. At the gate, he told the guard his purpose, and after some time, he was admitted to the presence of the emperor. Again he bowed as deeply as his old back would permit him and said, Ten years ago you saw an old man planting a fig tree. You said to him, If you live to eat its fruit, I pray you let me know. And behold, I am that same man. I have come and brought you the fruit of that tree so that you may also taste it. The emperor was very much pleased. He emptied the man's basket of its figs. And he ordered it to be filled with gold coins. When the old man had departed, the courtiers said to the emperor, Why did you so honour this old Jew? The Lord hath honoured him, and why not I? replied the emperor. Now next door to this old man there lived a crafty old woman. And when she heard of her neighbour's good fortune, she was filled with envy. She thought her husband should try his luck in the same quarter. She filled an immense basket with figs, placed it on his shoulder and said, Now, carry this to the emperor. He loves figs, 
and we'll fill your basket with gold coins. But when her husband approached the gates of the palace, he told his errand to the guards, saying, I brought these figs to the emperor. When this was told to the emperor, he ordered the old man to stand in the hallway of the palace, and all who passed him pelted him with his figs. He returned home wounded and crestfallen to his wife. She looked at her poor husband, and at last she chuckled and said, <laughs> Never mind, you have one consolation. If they had been coconuts instead of figs, you might have suffered harder knocks. And that witty and wise story is an ancient Jewish tale. Bertie says that if you've ever heard any Jewish anecdotes or jokes, you'll know that the same lively tradition of storytelling lives on to this day. And don't forget, there are loads more stories from cultures all over the world that you can find at storynoi.com. But before I go, I would just like to ask you a question. How much do you know about Montessori schools and teaching? Did you know that Montessori's method is over a hundred years old and that it is a highly effective, child-centric and humanistic form of education? Our sponsor in America, the Centre for Guided Montessori Studies, has set up a website that we hope you will visit at www.guidedstudies.com. If you are looking for a Montessori school in your area, then it's a great place to start your search. And if you are interested in becoming a Montessori teacher, then you really must take a look at www.guidedstudies.com. For now, from me, Natasha. Bye-bye!